Welcome back to Cigar Time, your very, very friendly show all about premium cigars. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Thanks for having us back. We're very happy to have with us again uh, Rami, who is uh, the executive sales manager for General Cigars, the iconic uh, manufacturer of such brands as, let's see if we can remember Punch. them all. Excalibur. Excalibur, yeah, we're going to talk about that today. We have Macanito, you have CEO. Uh, Martin Cabana. Magloria Cabana. Um, we're missing some. What are we missing? Don Hill. Not anymore. Uh, not anymore. What? Yeah, not what anymore. about Tron? Uh, cut. No uh, Tron. No Tron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut. Uh, no Tron. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to cut. Um, party gift. Oh, I said that. Oh, I didn't hear you say party yeah, I know. You don't listen. I said, I, A I lot don't. of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. That's diesel. That's true. I love diesel. You have the chilling moose. For the next month. Foundry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Foundry, CAO. Yeah. I said CAO. You don't oh, you listen did to say me. CAO? You, don't listen, you never listen and to me. And we're going to have a special for the next 30 days <laughs> <Shut> up, <Rob>. <laughs> on stuff. <laughs> on stuff. They make a lot of stuff. They so make a lot of stuff. But we're going to have some dynamite special. I heard they make Excalibur. They yeah. do make Excalibur. They do we're going to talk about it. Yeah. They taste, how they taste. Hoyo de Monterey. Hoyo de Monterey. Yeah, that's right. Very Punch. Yeah, that's Punch. the same thing, right? Macanuda. Let's. Can we clarify something? I think we're like repeating ourselves three times. Wait, can we clarify something, though? Hoyo de Monterey, yeah, that's Excalibur, correct? Yes, yes, yes. So then why do you guys just, I always like to say Hoyo de Monterey, and then people are like, it's Excalibur, and I'm like, it's Hoyo de Monterey. Some people would say Punch and Hoyo are the same with different names. Some people would say What that. do you mean by the taste? That's the truth. <laughs> Some people well, say. I'm not going to say anything, because people say, no, they taste different. I'm well, smoking. okay. I think they taste okay. different. Okay. It's... What? It's different. It's definitely it's different. different. It's, it's a different band. It's spelled it's different. Different. It's a secret I don't know different about it's, it's, it's spelled differently. <laughs> okay. Today, T is going to tell us all about what we're going to be doing today. With oh, the okay. We're going to be doing the Excalibur Hoyle de Monterey four-pack. Ah, uh, size. What? Yeah, seven and a quarter by 40, uh, 54. The best seller of the bunch, the number one in this Absolutely. time of year. Yep, the Excalibur number one in the Claro, which is a Connecticut, Connecticut. And the Connecticut Broadleaf, which is a Maduro. That's my favorite right both here. Both Connecticut seeds. Yes. Both from Connecticut. This from Connecticut. Has great pre light yeah. like flavor. Yeah, it does. Real this sweet. used to this be one of my favorite cigars. This is Let actually me the Go ahead. this is the one that got me started. This is the very this size really? this cigar was the very first cigar I had. It's a great yeah. size, especially this time of year. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is golfing season cigar. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the golfers come in and buy this cigar. They love this cigar. It, ra it lasts. How many rounds are on the um, golf course? Twelve. <laughs> 18 holes. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 holes. Well, some people do nine, so I don't That's know. That's true. That's some many do golf. Oh, okay. I, don't get, I don't get that, though. Okay. It depends on how much time you have. It's tennis season, oh. too, so. Yeah, you can't smoke. Well, you can't smoke you and do can. tennis. Yes, you can. You're you trying can. to hit that do you, with the racket Do you smoke this when you, when you <laughs> hit no the ball? Way. When you swing the club, are you smoking a cigar? No. Okay, then you can do it in tennis, too. That so makes no sense. Yes, it does. You're right. I'll give you that. All right. Oh, and I don't. Who has a Maduro? Look at this wrapper. I have a Maduro. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's oily. It's it's just phenomenal on your f on your hands, on your fingers. This cigar is probably one of the best sellers that General mm -hmm. had. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's always been a favorite. It's uh, very economical. You got a seven and a quarter by fifty four ring gauge that retails for eight seventy nine. Eight seventy nine. It's like a dollar twenty five an inch. <laughs> that figuring. just sounds kind of funny. <laughs> and we have no, the we have the, these very special uh, four packs, which have two natural and two Maduro in them. <laughs> uh, the retail for the entire package, and they're in humidified bags, which they this are. time of year is great to take with. Yeah. Uh, the retail would be close to forty dollars, and we're going to be selling them as a special for nineteen ninety five. Great price. And in volume, even less. But we'll we'll save that. That'll be a surprise when you go into so the store. So they're really loud when they buy them. Really, <laughs> <laughs> get a better discount. <laughs> Can I get these? Yeah. I like. The, I think it was really smart for them to put two and two in there. I think it was great to. I like that. Yeah, too. Instead I like of that too. Like all yeah, instead of just like three and one and no, of that. like all four or of three them and being one the same. Other one? Yeah. The, even from the first few draws, this oh, is a yet. really, really true Maduro. Well, because it's big. The cigar itself, I don't know. This is actually one of my it's favorite cigars in our line. Like. And uh, if 
when you smoke this cigar, it's like a good anytime cigar. You can actually yeah. smoke it first thing in the morning. Yeah. Smoke sure. it after dinner. Yeah. It'll stand up to you know whatever you had for dinner, and and it's just always it's always good and it's consistent. Yeah. You and know? that's in the, and that's in the, the Maduro as well too. The yeah. Maduro's mild, just like the Connecticut. So and don't the let cigar, the color fool you. In the cigar dictionary slash encyclopedia, this should be picture right next to the, the description of a medium bodied cigar. Yeah, absolutely. True medium bodied cigar. Dead dead yeah. solid medium. True medium bodied yeah. cigar. Yeah. It's a double yeah. corona size. So it's it's for, for our viewers no, who uh, may not have seen your previous appearances, uh. why don't you talk a little bit about your background and how long you've been with General and and where you got well, that shirt? Well, uh, where I got this shirt, uh, I stopped by the Goodwill on my way uh, on my way over here. And uh, did you mention my name? Did yeah, I did. I got the I got the five percent discount oh, good. for mentioning for mentioning your name. Good. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, actually, uh, in a couple weeks, it'll be uh, four years here at General Cigar for me. Okay. Is that yeah. All? Yeah. Yeah. What? It seems yeah. like forever. Yeah, I know. Actually, I know. I know. I have that way on people that I just you know it seems like you know. It Are just you sure? Four years. Yes, yeah, four, four years. years. Wow. In, uh, in, in uh, two weeks, it'll be four years. You you uh, you stepped into some mighty big shoes. Uh, I did. Your I predecessor, did. a time or two before, uh, was on a job for over forty years. Right. Mm. Right. And right. He's no longer with us, sadly. But Mike was a great guy, and we all knew him. And I was talking uh, about him last night. Yeah. We did not all know him. You didn't know. Oh, him. You I never didn't know him. You never met Mike. Are you I kidding never me? Never met him. No. Really? Serious. I never met him. I think Joe. Well, came you know. Joe he was, was. Well, dang. Man. He was a legend. He was a legend. He, and, yeah, uh, he was. And it was, uh, you know, definitely. You're right. It was a you guys really, had uh, me in Reading. really tough, uh, tough set of shoes to fill. So, so, uh, but yeah, here I am, four years later. So what? What did I know? But tell our. How did you start? How, how, how did you come into the cigar business? Uh, you know, I worked at a store. Uh -huh. I just worked at a store, <laughs> and just it eventually turned into this. So, uh, so it was pretty. Uh, you How long were you in retail? Uh, Rami, we don't have much time 12, on the show. That much twelve years. That's too much detail. We yeah, don't have that much time. What? He's a man of few words. Yeah, twelve years. So, uh, twelve years in the store, and uh, uh, then it turned into this. All right. So let's uh, ask this question: What got you into cigars? Uh, so, uh, so when I was uh, when Poverty. I was young. Uh, you know, it was kind of like the holiday thing, and all the people in the family, the older guys, would uh, hang out, smoke cigars, and have a drink. Right. And I thought it was, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty awesome. You know, they all have like a fancy sport coat on, have a nice, uh, nice stiff drink and a cigar. So I always thought that was like you kind of made it when you had a ca Cadillac, a cigar, <laughs> and a stiff drink. You know and what I mean? And so and and hence the outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the and hence the old Cadillac. Yes, and hence the old ca uh, the old Cadillac. Yes. Tell, tell yes. our audience what the, you you got a class from. So I have a, a 1990 Cadillac, uh, Brome de Elegance with the gold package that I uh, love very very package. much and. Uh, it kind of, you know, it kind of works really well with the Excalibur. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a great big car. It's big a great big car with a and a. It moves really slow, and uh, kind of like me. The car. Yeah. 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 It's it's made for comfort, not speed. Right. Yeah. I yeah. mean that type of car. What's the gold package? It's uh, all the uh, the emblems are gold. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like a broham. You know Sounds like it a is bro a broham. It's yeah. It's a. Oh, it's, it's a broham. Bro it's a broham. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I understand. Uh, see, it's I know a little something. Yeah. yeah. Very good. It's a. Uh, Why do both have red cars? It does have white. It's white got balls. white walls. It's got white see, walls. I know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Then Absolutely. It's big white walls. <laughs> big <laughs> white walls. Yes. <laughs> a red car too. A red car. Yeah. <laughs> God help me. Cool. Can't make this stuff up, people. No, <laughs> no. Alright, so you got started because your family Stop. was smoking <laughs> cigars. Yep. And then you just I went, went to college and then after college you went into retail? Uh, yeah, you just what got in just got into retail. Yeah, what made you decide to go into cigars like for a career? Poverty. Uh just <laughs> uh <laughs> you know, just uh it just kinda all worked out. You know what I mean? There was no plan. Yeah. Uh nothing no, I don't really plan plan much, so I just kinda winged it and I showed up one day at a cigar shop, started working, 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 and then it all kind of fell together. Uh -huh. I mean, there's no real, there's no real exciting pattern. It just kind of, just kind of worked out. It's okay. kind of evolution. So, uh, what did you get your degree in? What did I get my degree in? Uh, hard knocks. Hard knocks. Yes, oh. very, very, very hard knocks. <laughs> yes, yes, hard knocks. Should we so. go with our first impression? Well, we're I smoking different I kinds. Need some some more are, fan some, over here. Some, some are Sm smoking. It's, I, it's, hmm? I think it's. Creamy and smooth. Mm. I'm getting a hint of vanilla, a little bit, really? very slight hint of vanilla see that. from the Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh, they're both Connecticut. Yeah, they're smoking Connecticut. I'm smoking. Well, you, you and I are smoking the doors. 
Yeah, Am I the only one smoking the door? Me too. Is is okay. This has a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. I mean uh, binder. binder. Yep. Is that a Connecticut Broadleaf binder also? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So it's like a this double. Is a double. It's a yeah. double yeah. Yes. 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 Technically. Yes. yes. And a Connecticut in these cigars is some of the most expensive tobacco going. It is. Yes. Because it's grown in the Connecticut Valley and, you know, as opposed to being grown in Central America or in Africa, these are these very... These are from Connecticut. Yeah, these are very expensive th tobaccos. Well, the, the rubber. And it takes a, a vertically integrated large company like General Cigar, which is owned by a gigantic corporation, STG, to be able to bring the cigar at a price that's kind of sweet too. To this cigar has yeah, got some weight very to it reasonable. too. What's your first impression? My first impression is it's sweet, but spicy. But not. But it's not a pepper. It's a spice. Spice is a sensation. So. Gosh, spice. It is. So Spices we should take her computer away from her, right? Leave me alone. I think. I think she, it's a good description. Thank you. It's a good description. Thank you. It's um. It's right now. It's coating the 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 palate and it's tingling in the back of the throat. So that's kind of where you understand what spice is versus pepper. Uh, this, the Maduro and the Connecticut both have the same blend yes. inside. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Do you want to take just a Just a wrapper. No. Just a different wrapper. Yeah, just okay. a different wrapper. Just a different wrapper. So oh, if, you, if you were smoking, if you like the Sex Caliber Connecticut and you were wanted to try a Maduro, it would be good to taste that one because it's the same blend. It's not too strong. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. It doesn't give you a... Yeah, you know, both, both the cigars, I think, no matter which wrapper, uh, are very well balanced. You know, the right. flavors are well balanced. Uh, and the, uh, the other thing about I love about this cigar, the one thing I love about it is its consistency and the construction of this cigar it's impeccable. is unbelievable. It is. It's unbelievable. Oh, and yeah. The, the burnt draws burnt are yeah. always perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always perfect. Now, what Never would you plug. Art and tea, what would you consider the strength on that cigar? It's a solid medium. It's a solid medium. Solid so medium. Th that's a perfect example of how the wrapper does not really affect the strength because no, no. You're you know, it's the you're guts would you would it. think yeah. that that guts. would be looking at Honestly, it would be extremely strong, but it's it's right. Not it's at all. not it's at all, and that's why I tell people don't let the color fool you because it's not going to be. Yeah, as people strong as you people think. mistake a dark cigar, uh -huh. yeah, strong, a, a Maduro mm -hmm. or an Oscuro. All Maduro means is ripe. Yes, yeah. typically, but typically the cigar will a Maduro typically will be stronger, but it's nothing to do with the wrapper. Well, they, right. they, they, they right. say they use the Maduro because it stands up to the Lajero when but they I blend it. But it also in parts. Versus a Connecticut. But it also in parts, my yeah. first reaction, are this is a atypical, a really atypical Maduro cigar because it has a nice sweet finish, mm -hmm. got a nice medium body, there's no burn on the back of the throat, it coats the tongue with sweet taste, but yet really tobacco, really, yeah. you know, to me, the Maduro just it's just uh, more uh, it's more rich, so yeah. it's not particularly yeah, strong. It's just more word, rich, rich, you know. Uh, I like Maduro. Word, so yeah, mm. yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, both of them smoke really nice and are both uh, agreeable. And uh, and the cool thing is, is like uh, I really love this cigar. I just want to I'm gonna be a little biased. That's it's actually fine. one of my favorite favorite cigars. So I don't want to lie. Uh, but the cool thing is, is like this is a great cigar if you just have like a time to just sit right. and enjoy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really enjoy a cigar. You know, pour something nice and mm -hmm. just kind of chill out and just have a good cigar and really take that time to, yeah. to enjoy it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? This isn't like something I want to smoke while I'm like, you know, doing a million things. This is kind of good, real sit down. Mm -hmm. Maybe right. friends or just, you know, watching sports or whatever. If you have the time to sit, this is a great cigar. Yeah. So, What other I what other cigars in the lo in, um, that General has uses a, a, a wrapper from Connecticut? Uh, so the Macanudos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 uh -huh. okay. there are not a lot of cigars that have a true Connecticut. No, no. You're talking about the true Connecticut? Yeah. Yeah. Macanudo, and that's the Macanudo Cafe that has the, uh, that has the mm. true Connecticut. Real gold what about the brown? gold? Yeah, the Macanudo gold. gold yeah, the Macanudo yeah. gold is, yeah, actually, okay. is, uh, is a true Connecticut as oh. well. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very smooth yeah. Yeah. I like that taste. Yes, what does your wrapper taste like? What are you getting from, like, the... Really? Nothing? Asking me? Asking them for the Connecticut, Connecticut. It's 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 I not. I was getting a vanilla. Oh. Well, the wrapper's not. It doesn't have a bite like a, you you do from a, a lot of yeah a yeah, lot of Connecticut wrappers. Mm -hmm. well, they age, they age their tobacco, especially in big format cigars like this. They you get a, you get an extra dose of aging with these things. That's why you you rarely ever get a bite with a general yeah. cigar. And you don't get any gra you don't get any that gr sometimes no, that no, grassy no. flavor. And I was just about you know to ask what I, mean? what I was That's asking. Yeah. With you, with I don't get the grassy taste. Like I do get an earthy taste. Earthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earthy's are right, grassy. From the, from the Honduran tobacco. Yeah. 
What's that? From the Honduran tobacco. Yes. Some Tastic. people like the grassy flavor. It's yeah. I like yeah, grassy. I'm, I'm not. I'm not crazy about grassy, but I'm, you I'm know. not either. I like but grassy. But this, the, the, either way, this doesn't have it. This is. I haven't had one of these in a while. I forgot yeah. how good this cigar is. Yeah, yeah. it's really tough if you want to smoke grass. But I want to. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. I want to try. I want to taste the Connecticut now. I want to put this down it, and um, do a Connecticut, Connecticut. It also comes in other sizes. I'm yeah. sure we don't carry the other sizes. It comes in like what four or five. Two, different three, sizes. four, yeah, five. Yeah, comes in a uh, comes in a uh, uh, you know traditional sizes like the Toro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, this is the number. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the number, the number one. one. This is the number one seller. Yeah. This is kind of like the flagship. Yeah. Uh, and that's and why the other. Number one. Yeah, that's yeah. it is. That's why they. That's why it is number one. But yeah, I would say this is the flagship, and uh, this is um, you know, to me, this is uh, this is the size I like. Out of out of the bunch as yeah. well, so uh, there is a difference in the flavors and the different sizes. There is, yeah. there is, there I is, there is. I, I seem to recall the the, oh, the, really? the the smaller sizes. I think were spicier four. than these. Yeah, four, yeah. Four or five. Well, Actually, think you know, about it. How they talk the about how the different sizes will give you different strength, and yeah. the flavor might change a little. You yeah, you don't notice it in all cigars. There are oh, okay. s some cigars where I'll not uh, notice a difference, and this happens to be one of those. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's a that's great. Now, Scott, aren't we going to be running in June a number of events featuring General Cigars, the various uh, brands, and Rami will be putting on some good shows? Sure, I'll have to talk to Rami about when we're going to do it. And uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm going to spring this as a sort of a surprise. Nobody knows about uh, that. A little idea I had. Hold on to your hats. And uh, Does somebody have a pen and pencil so I can, or pen and paper so I can remember this for art. <laughs> when Rami is doing an event in one of our stores. He'll be very happy if you if you make a purchase. He'll be very happy to autograph the box <laughs> and any any body oh. part you might autograph have <laughs> autographed as well as as long as we keep it clean. Yeah. Mean, uh, Why? Keep it clean. <laughs> whatever. Don't forget to bring a sharpie. Yeah, with yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever makes people happy. That's that's what it's all about. Because in time, fifty, a hundred years, those boxes and body parts may be worth a lot of money. Yes. Yes. So, that? June is general <laughs> month. June is general month. And what are we doing for General Month? That's We're what we going to be giving away a whole bunch of stuff and a whole I bunch like of great deals. What about watch, your, what about watch, watch your email. Hold on. Up, up, up. Watch your emails. And those of you who are part of our loyalty program, watch for your text. And you'll be notified of all the events, all the store locations, and the times and everything. And, you know, we invite you to come out and meet Rami, who's very entertaining. <laughs> very, very knowledgeable. He's very knowledgeable, and he's mm. a, and not he's necessary a, about cigars, but he knows a lot right about cars. Now, <laughs> all about cigars. No, I know no, a lot about nothing. A, a lot about nothing. A lot about nothing. A lot. What's that? I know nothing about a lot. Nothing about a lot. That's it. That's it. Mm. <laughs> this is really. I'm surprised with that. This wrapper, how the sweet this really is. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It. You know. It. I mean, I can't say it enough. I, I just really, really really enjoy this cigar just because it again it's just it's right on the spot you know what i mean but it, it's full of flavor too it's not it doesn't have any yeah, bland absolutely. it's not bland you know uh, it's a great like you guys said it's a great medium bodied cigar and it just the flavors are unbelievable you know and uh and the uh again the draw the construction <coughs> everything about this cigar just and the you know it just talks to me the filler is honduran right uh nicaraguan, nicaraguan dominican, dominican and honduran. honduran yeah three country blend. three country yeah. blend yep yeah Wow. Now, we have our trade show upcoming in a few weeks, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. can you en enlighten us? Is there anything new that's going to be coming out? Uh, there's always something new. Yeah, I figured uh, that. You know, absolutely, there's always something new. Uh, they, uh, we... Um, Cohiba. We, we forgot Cohiba. Oh, Cohiba. Yeah. oh, yeah, how you forget yeah. Cohiba? They make sorry, I didn't mean to... Yes, I yeah. did mean to interrupt you, but I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, for the brand. Yeah, for the brands. Yeah, absolutely. We did forget Cohiba. We, we did, did forget. forget Cohiba. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a big one to forget. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. Uh, Sean will be very disappointed. He will, he will be. Sorry, Sean. He will be. I owe him a. I owe him a dinner. I owe him a dinner. A good dinner. Not, not drive through. Hardee's. Uh, Hardee's. Uh, I was thinking Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is kind of upscale. Upscale fast food. I like right? that. You know what I mean? Gonna be on the show. Uh, you know, Sean Williams. If you're out there watching, they'd love to have you on the show. He's been on the show. Uh, I don't think he has. No, no he's he not hasn't. Been no. On the he hasn't show. been on the show. No. no. Oh, I thought no. Laura and Ricky have been on the show, but yeah, not that. Yeah, have been. Benji years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, Benji was. Yeah. Yeah, Benji's great. Wow, people. that was a long time ago. That was a long that time. That was in the beginning. Yeah. So if you guys were going to go through a fast food drive-through, would you? What fast food drive-through? You're looking at the wrong guy. I've never done that in my Rob? life. Burger King. Burger you King. You went to Chick Fil A. Scott. Chicken I did. Food? When yeah. did I go to Chick Fil A? You and Mike went to Chick Fil A. Mike, did we go to Chick Fil A? In the hood. 
Oh, yes. You're right. <laughs> the, the, one, the one time you've been there. <laughs> it was good. And Chick -fil <laughs> i got to tell you, that, whoever owns it, I think there's one guy who owns everything. Yeah. They the do a fantastic job. Oh, you know what the I was impressed with? The service was impeccable. The service was, was like was. unbelievable. It's like, it's like a five-star <laughs> fast food restaurant. Holy yeah. mackerel. Yeah. The yeah. chicken was good. Yeah. No question about it. But the service just blew me away, and we weren't exactly in Beverly Hills, uh, the I place we went. I say Chick-fil-A for lunch today. What do you guys think? Works okay. for me. Okay. All right. Sure. All right. Uh, uh, I, like the, I like their lemonade. Their lemonade is, their is, lemonade is, their is, lemonade is off the meter. And their fruit punch is good, too. T, if you were yeah. like fast food, like Jones and for fast what would you food, pair where would you with go? The what would you pair with the lemonade? I don't. <laughs> you don't do fast <laughs> food. Or the sandwich. Not even fries. chick fil a Bread and Danes is pretty good. Okay. The healthy fast food. All right. Ketchup's good there, too. Yeah. We've degenerated down to talking about fast food. No. Well, you know what? It's fast food is one of those topics where, like, nobody wants to admit they like fast food, but they, we, everybody really does. You know? Burger King. Right? Burger King, is, it's a great burger. I mean, it's, it's Is it know. real? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's legit. I oh. worked there for four years when yeah. I was a kid. In high school. Yeah. I worked at Roy Rogers, so if you want to know a little bit of my Roy background, Rogers. I worked at Roy Rogers. ten years ago. Yeah. I mean, yeah, fried chicken. I made and fried chicken. Double R burger. Yeah. Yeah. And for those of Double. you who are old enough, uh, sadly, Gino Marchetti passed away oh. recently. Oh, okay. And uh, those of you who remember yeah, Gino's. Gino's. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, from Philly? It was mm -hmm. him and, uh, oh, Did Amici, the, the other. Gino Giant. Yeah. But his partner was uh, Alan Amici. Was another legendary footballer with uh, the Baltimore Colts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what they were called. The Baltimore Colts. Yeah. Oh, wow. They tried to revive that in King of Prussia a few years back. Yes, I don't know I if remember. you guys remember. Yeah, yeah, I saw and it. I think yeah. it fell flat on its yes. yeah, Keister. face. Keister. Keister. Yes, Keister. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. really enjoying the cigar. Yeah. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm just hungry now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> this is. It's the same cigar that it that was. 25 years ago yeah. when mm -hmm. I first had it. It's mm -hmm. very The consistency is amazing. How long has this scar been out? I, th I think about, I think 30, 30 years. Yeah, yeah really? 30 years. This is an, this, this wow, is almost as old as I am. This was made in the Villazon factory yes. in Honduras. Absolutely. It Absolutely. still exists today. Absolutely. <laughs> and when you took over Villazon around 97, 98. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Is that the it. factory you guys went to go see? Mm -mm. Oh. I saw it. Yeah, but the consistency, I, I, I agree yeah, with we the consistency of the cigar is the same. So that's that's the right amazing the part about the cigars. It's the same. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The same. What that one traffic light yeah. that they had? Yeah, it actually yeah. was right across the, the the from the other factory we were at. That's one of was the it? hardest yeah. things right to the do. The dirt road. And I know we <laughs> talked about it with other manufacturers over the years, but consistency. To keep the consistency. Yeah. Having the blend taste the same. Not many manufacturers get it. Yeah. I mean, you know. Let's make them all once. We Speaking of that, you guys have revamped. Whoa. Not the actual line, but just the packaging of a lot of mm -hmm. your uh, iconic yeah, brands yeah, like absolutely. Punch. And absolutely. then people swear it's different. And I say, I it's not I different. Can, it's just the packaging. I can assure everybody 100% that it's uh, the repackaging is just a repackage, and the blend is absolutely the, the same. same. Yeah. Absolutely, one hundred and ten percent. You made the packaging before. more contemporary. Yes, yes. yes. The yeah. packaging was, get, you know, it was getting long in the tooth. Yeah. And uh, yeah. sometimes it needs a bump, and uh, you know, you need to get a little more, like you said, contemporary. And yeah. uh, and I, I, you know, I personally like the new packaging. I think I it, I like it. Too. Yeah, I, I think it lends it. well to tradition, I like but it, yeah. also yeah. looking to the future. All of yeah. the brands going and through. And it stands out. Uh, on yes, itself. yes. All the iconic brands have gone through repackaging. Yeah. Yeah. Excalibur. We, I don't. I haven't Not Excalibur yet. Excalibur yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But maybe with this new. Maybe they're going to. It's just a way of selling. It. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. still come in the cabinet. Well, no, I know, but maybe they might mimic it. The color, maybe it's going to. Dress it up. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it's like a possible. preview to what the box possible. might look like. You never know. Yeah. Well, I think we uh, have smoked enough to, you know, give our final review. I want to smoke really the Connecticut now. What stands out is how smooth and and sweet. <laughs> it's really sweet. I don't, I'm not sure yeah. where that's coming from. That's given good. The, the whole the binder. Yeah, it's got a Connecticut broadleaf binder. That's I a good point, Mike. I mean, Rob. But that's more that's more like the wrapper that's more like sweet to the to your tongue and my it's not like from the the, the smoke sweetness. And then it's then it's coming from the wrapper. I guess. The but sweetness. Connecticut yeah, smooth, Connecticut sweet. There was a tiny, tiny bit of spice earlier on. This is a nine. This is a great yeah. cigar. Solid nine? Yeah. Right. I'm getting the sweetness, I'm getting the um, the earthy taste uh, from the I can definitely taste the uh, Honduran tobacco in this. Um, and the strength is, is coming from the, uh, the Nicaraguan uh, f uh, filler tobacco. Um, 
I, I like the cigar. It's very good. It's a good cigar to smoke on the golf course. It's it's nice and big. Um, it'll last you a few holes, probably six or seven holes. Um, I like it. Oh, I think it? it's pretty Only good. I give it an eight nine five. Eight nine five. Okay. It takes that long to play six holes. Yeah. Wow. Gee. Um, I love the construction. It's silky. It's smooth. Uh, you do get a blast of uh, spice in the beginning, but it does subside. It's a true medium. Um, now I wish I kind of smoked the Connecticut, uh, but I give this a solid nine. Yeah. Boy, that must be different. You don't want to smoke mine. I love this cigar. Okay. I mean, it, this to me is a very iconic brand. Uh, as been said before, it tastes the same as it did 25 years ago when I probably was Ooh. just smoking them. And uh, I love the sweet finish. I love the way it coats the mouth, coats the tongue. I mean, it's, it's everything a Maduro should this be and often isn't, sadly. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to make a good Maduro. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, it's a true Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, so it has that nice sheen. And has, I mean, it's just a beautiful It's beautiful. Car. I give it a 925. Ooh. And, and uh, honestly... Rami gives it a 20. I, 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 I would give it a 20, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't have been hard-pressed to give it a, a 95, so, but I give it a 925 to keep in Is there any more... No, this is, spoke, is this there any more spice on that one than the This, than the this is much sweeter, obviously, mm -hmm. because well, it's the wrapper. Yeah. It's very sweet. It's very nice. Well, I would say... But this is sweet, though. I'm mm -hmm. getting that sweet. Yeah. You know the irony of this cigar? What? This cigar, the closest thing I can think of that it reminds me <coughs> of, years and years ago, I used to smoke a lot of Hoyo de Monterey double coronas, Cuban I double coronas. I was about to say a Cuban. And even though they weren't Maduro per se, uh, the taste is very similar. It reminds me somewhat of a milkshake. I know that sounds a little off the wall. You say it all the time. I, I he hasn't yeah. said that in a while, actually. No, I haven't said it in a while. But this cigar reminds me of those old, unfortunately it doesn't taste the same today, but I'm talking about the Cuban, not this. And it, it, it very much reminds me of yeah. that. Wow. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. That. Well, I think, I think in, uh, you know, this is for anyone who hasn't smoked this cigar in a long time or has never tried it. You know, this four pack is a great way. I, I think I, yeah. I, I, I think yeah, it's a great way to, to yeah. kind of get your feet wet with this cigar. And yeah. uh, I think most people will be really satisfied. You know, I hope they'll be really satisfied with. Oh, it's a great value. Yeah, I, yeah, I, mean, I like the fact that you, there's, like you said earlier, that there's a Maduro and a Connecticut. And if you're just mm -hmm. used to Connecticut's, you can taste the Maduro. If you like the Connecticut, you can taste the Maduro and see if you like the Maduro wrapper. Right, because if you're, you know, yeah. you're hesitant to try a Maduro because it's too dark mm -hmm. right. and it's too full body. It this is. is the way to do it. Yeah, right. I yeah. agree. Basically, in the in the four pack, they're under five dollars a piece. Absolutely, yes. so you're Absolutely. saving a ton of money. Yeah. You're getting a humidified bag on top. Yeah, of you're it. saving yeah. almost four dollars a cigar. Yeah, absolutely. And, so and I like the Maduro better. Oh, yeah. I'd give the Maduro a nine two five. Okay, okay, nice. so you're, okay. So you're, Excellent. You're, you're with me. Yeah. Excellent. So I just want to remind everybody. Uh, golf season is here. We have plenty of cigars, plenty of room in the lounges to watch, relax, watch golf, watch the Phillies. Soon yeah, Phillies. In the fall of the Eagles. Go Phillies. And just don't forget our Saturday night show uh, at 8 o'clock and to check your uh, TV guide and such. And uh, I guess that's Smoke it for today. Smoke everybody. Thanks, Rami. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.